go up now. He, he's come so far since the disappointment at the start of the season to now getting into the E-Nation squad, etc. And he's he's got his playoff spot. And now he's going to look for more points to get closer to the E World Cup. Yeah, it is just a real big chance here for him to step up and get those points that he really needs. So swoop his way to guarantee himself the playoff place, but also maybe start challenging for that E World Cup spot, which is, of course, where every single player here wants to get to that final event of the season to have a chance of becoming the world champion. But I want to talk about for Philza a little bit, Dan, because he has been. Uh, you know, he's been a nearly man, but I want to kind of highlight that he's been very unlucky in some of these big games as well. If you look back through some of the games he's had in recent times in big tournaments, then sometimes it's just not quite been the rubber the green that's gone in way, his way. Yeah, I mean, he's had yeah, uh, circumstances. Most of the FIFA players, to be honest, <coughs> when they get to the stage, they're always going to feel like they were unlucky in certain scenarios. But for Filza has certainly showed that he has the potential to get to these kind of stages in tournaments. He can get to console finals and who knows, maybe he could even make the cross console final if he can get through foot with Tom first. But it's not going to be an easy task. I mean, got to remind you, Tom in the quarter final blew M10 Houston away, a 9 2 victory against someone who has won tournaments. He won the PlayStation side of things in Singapore. Well, it's going to be foot with Tom with the first real chance here, and he timed the header. However, the strength, I believe, that's Alexandro in the it's left back here for Fulfilza just did enough. To make that difficult, but a mistake here from the resulting goal kick, and Ronaldo's inside the box. The back post again. Ramos should deal with that. Falls to Vieira though, and again Ramos is in the way. And just a look of bewilderment so far from Tom. <clears throat> Tom's up. Early on Tom's up. Being able to convert, but it's been all the Englishmen at the start of this game. Neymar in towards the box as well, and Vieira gets up to get it away, and finally, the Phils can kind of clear his lines and just take in a bit of oxygen and. Just reset himself a second. No, he he like he to reset. He was trying to steam up the other side of the pitch there, but then he saw the amount of footwear shirts that were coming back to join the defense. And quite sensibly, Fulfilzer is just going to actually recycle here and be a little bit more patient. Wait for a couple of players to be out of position so we can look for that space. Does need to be careful with those little balls, though. But with Tom certainly putting players in the right areas at the moment, and they're coming slightly dangerous. The fields are being very careful, trying to tip to or tip to the ball for around three or four minutes in game here, but hasn't actually managed to get past the halfway line. That's the pressure, and that's the shape that Tom's managing to keep in his defence here. Impressive stuff here. Talk about attacking talent a lot, but sometimes you have to look at the defence side of things and how hard they are to attack. Talk about attacking talent a lot, but sometimes you have to look at the defence side of things and how hard a player is to break down. And now finally, the fields are has got into the defence side of things and how hard a player is to break down. And now finally, the fields are has got into the defence side of things and how hard a player is to break down. And now finally, the fields are has got into the defence side of things and how hard a player is to break down. And now finally, the fields are has got into the defence side of things and how hard a player is to break down. And now finally, the fields are has got into and makes Can that tackle and turns the possession back over to Tom. He's got such an huh? opportunity here as well, going forward, but that one goes wide. <laughs> this is the danger for foot with Tom, even though he had the early chances, the Filza has a lot of counter-attack potential. Tom's going to have to keep switched on here. Yeah, he is, um, foot with Tom, he's the top goal scorer in the tournament as well, I believe he's got 44 goals overall. Incredible stuff in... Such a short amount of time, but he's going to have to deal with Fulfilza here from this set piece, the corner. Rude Hullet wins the tackle there against Cristiano Ronaldo, who's trying to get a little bit tricky inside the box with that Cricketta. So difficult to defend, but Fulfilza Tom does it exceptionally well. Yeah, certainly Fulfilza doesn't have the same goal-scoring ability that Fulfilza Tom has offered this tournament, but there have been some big games from Tom. He won 12-1 versus Rafa, and of course that 9-2 victory as well versus Houston. He beat Merck 10-3. He has had some massive victories, but you've also got to think that his opposition is probably pushing to try and get back into games there, and maybe we shouldn't read too much into his goal scored. Not into his goal scored, but if you think about that on the other side of things, goals conceded, not too many if you put yourself in that situation as well. It's usually, you know, if you go up in such a way that, you know, an opponent has to change their tactics and get forward, there is a chance they will get one on the board, even if you're scoring two or three, so... Not only offensively he's been impressive, yep. it's also defensively as R9 looks to win that right. tackle. And it's actually Alexandro again in that fullback position. He manages to have enough of a physical presence there to put on off the on-rushing attacker. And now for Phils is going to come forward once more. Neymar now into Vieira. Quick exchanges of passing here and for Phils are now. Who's looking to create an opening? Vieira now, 1v1, Neymar finds space, R9! And that's how good he can be! Soaks up the pressure, goes straight up the other end. 
and have it linked together a beautiful passing pattern he finds the finish with the man who doesn't know how to miss and you were talking about footwiz tom's defense and how much he's conceded so far in the tournament i mean that will be his 16th goal that he's conceded so far quite a low total if you consider the amount of games he has played and the people he's faced as well when we were watching Tex earlier or saying how good his defensive record was. Well, Tom's not that much worse. However, he's going to have to come from behind here and try and get back into this game versus Fafilza because when Fafilza's coming forward, there's something very threatening about his style of play. He's more than happy to pass it backwards and be very patient. He's almost trying to get pinpoint passes into certain areas. Filza wins the ball back then and can start another one of those patient attacks. So many players will take a touch of the ball. It's almost like every single player has to have a touch of the ball before Filza goes forward. Neymar now in that cam position. R9 drops deep to collect that ball. And again, every single player having a touch. It's another beautiful passing play here from Filza. But Virgil van Dijk steps in just at the right, right moment there for Tom. It'll be interesting to see Ruhula in that fullback position here, Dan. It's all the first time skill moves and touches that we're seeing from Fafilza, which is allowing him to break away from Tom's defense and give him the space to actually attempt a shot or attempt the, the risky passes. Tom's going to have to try and keep as close as possible. Well, R9's inside the box here, a little bit of space. The timing just off of the shot, and David De Gea has to get a hand to it. Turns it behind for a corner, but the corner turns into a goal. And that's the celebration you do not want to see if you're supporting for Filza here. There's foot with Tom. He's ringing home. How many times have we seen today shots just going wayward or being saved by the keeper and going out to a corner just for Cristiano Ronaldo or Virgil van Dijk to be there at the front post just to make up for the miss? So frustrating if you're on the receiving end of it, but an absolute relief if it's you winning that corner and winning the header at the front post and you saw just the relief on Tom's face to be honest after it because it's it breaks the deadlock for him it allows him to get back into this game he's not chasing the game anymore and he can start to play how he wants to play not too many big chances so to speak apart from the two which have turned into goals so far so both players showing a clinical edge when it comes to Making the most of those chances in front of goal and now for Filza again, he's gonna build from the back here. Moves it from left to right. Ramos now in that fullback position. Will be invited forward here. You can see Cristiano Ronaldo trying to spin in behind his man here, and he almost gets there, but Van Dyke. That player of the year, Van Dyke will get across to make the tackle. Beautiful combination of fake shots there from Tom to get past his man. And Ronaldo here is just gonna dribble the ball out of play, but the halftime whistle does go. Nothing to separate the two players. And looking at the stats here, Dan, not too much to separate them statistically either. No, not too much. And uh, interesting in the end there, I think Tom was even thinking if he stopped dribbling with the ball, maybe he was going to get the free kick because the referee had blown for advantage. Or he thought maybe Van Dyke was going to pull him back and he was going to be able to twist and turn on, on the line. But slightly disappointing ending to the first half from Tom. I would like to see a, an opportunity created from such a good position there. But now he just has to defend from the restart here at halftime and try and get stuck in and win this ball back early. We've seen some players been very effective at actually winning the ball back from the restart here, but good use of possession here from Fulfills. And now he's inside the box, but a good tackle there from Sergio Ramos. Slightly under hit pass, but it will find Cristiano Ronaldo now. And now Tom can build again with Luka Modric. Who we, are, we are starting to see more and more come into teams, especially when we do see Rude Hullets kind of being resorted to use, to use, I should say, in that fullback position. And as I speak of the man, here he is on the ball right now. Yeah, a lot of more a lot more players are using Hullet at left back, and we know the reason why. It's to counter the back post headers, someone to challenge Cristiano Ronaldo. But it also does free up that spot for Luka Modric, who is a fantastic addition to the team. He often comes on as a substitute to replace maybe a tiring Vieira. Uh, but actually having him from the start, what he offers going forward is equally as important as what he offers at the back and in the midfield. He can hit them from distance. He can play those penetrating through balls as well. Very threatening going forward. He was a, had a big fan in Spencer Owen back at the e Champions League. He was absolutely lauding pr praise on the way that Luka Modric was influencing games. But back to this game right now. 
An attacker will take the ball out of play and fulfills it again, trying to keep possession, trying to work a high percentage opportunity here to try and take the lead and eke out an advantage as we head towards the second leg. Here's Ruud Hullet, tries to find that ball into R9. Well defended this time by Rafael Varane. And now Tom can build an attack of his own. Both players are reluctant to go for a quick counter-attack. I think it's because they're worried their counter-attack is going to be counter-attack, to be honest. Very dangerous sometimes if you do throw it up the pitch very quickly. Well, here's R9 across to Mbappe. Fantastic reactions there. Moving the goalkeeper across there from Fafilza to make the save. Ball into the box. R9 gets a volley. But it's only yellow. And yellow isn't good enough in that situation. You saw Tom just muttering to himself there. The... It was a very drastic keeper movement from Fafilza. Arguably too much keeper movement. Sometimes it's better to be a little bit subtle with the keeper movement. Just enough to make the save, but not over committing to leave a free goal if your opponent shoots the other way. And I think it's almost a slap of the knee for Tom saying, I could if I had shot in the middle of the goal or the left, that was going in. I didn't read the game. He he outread me in that situation. And it's always difficult when you see the keeper move that much. We're just past the hour mark now in the first leg here. Now PlayStation 4 semi-final, and it's going to be New York City's Chris who's going to be waiting for the winner in this game. And it's a shot across goal. And I've got to be, I've got to be honest, Dan, I'm a little bit surprised to see that one going in the back of the net. It was timed red. Ugh. But Neymar on his left foot gets it past the goalkeeper. And it is going to be advantage here to Fafilza. I don't want to have too strong an op opinion on this. However, I do believe if it's timed red, that should be going into Rosette. I feel bad for Tom there. It's obviously the timing has confused the goalkeeper slightly. Maybe the goalkeeper was expected to go wide as well. It's just one of those things. Unfortunate for Tom indeed, but he has to just keep his head held high, not let it affect him too much. Press on and keep playing. Well, here's our nine inside the box now, just outside the box, I should say. Trying to turn beautiful stuff from Tom. What a response. That's how to respond. Magic just outside the box. Avoided the tackle there in Virgil van Dijk. And he just took his time with the finish, finessed it into that near post, having the spotted the goalkeeper movement done. as well. That's class from Fott with Tom. <coughs> it can be very difficult to mentally reset after you think the game has gone against you. And to be honest, time red doesn't feel that way if it's gone in the back of the net. But Tom's responded, he's kept his composure, and he's found the finish to answer back. And now it's just back to all square. He just cancels out that goal. And now he can refocus on trying to gain the lead here, which he hasn't been able to do so far in this time. Yeah, it really was. In my opinion, one of the best goals we've seen today. It was just fantastic individual work there from Ronaldo. The foot was Tom knowing the exact timing of those skill moves. And now he's got to be careful, though, as Varane just steps out in time to intercept the ball. But making so many quick decisions, like we've talked about, Dan, before, in such a small amount of time with such small margins for error. Just goes to show the form he's in and the class that he has in the locker as well. It's the amount of options that are available. That's why the decision making is usually so impressive from these pro players because you can take, it's not just several avenues. Uh. There are hundreds of different things you can try on the FIFA pitch. And it's <laughs> the fact that in that split second, they can always decide at least one of the optimal decisions. They play the percentage game. A lot of these players, they'll say, right, Statistically, what's the likelihood of me scoring from here? Or am I more likely to score if I play this risky pass across the goal? Really has been a so far. Far. Now for Filza, has a bit of space here. Neymar just dropping into that gap. Rude Hullet comes across with a crunching tackle. I'm not sure how much of the ball was won there, but enough for the referee not to make a decision. And now Rude Hullet in that fullback position. Can release R9 here. You see Mbappe trying to make that run in behind. Tom smartly deciding to spread the play and keep possession. Maybe with one eye on that clock. 80 minutes gone now. As now Cristiano Ronaldo goes down the outside. Finds R9. Croquetta back inside. Well defended here by Fulfills us. And just slips out of play. And now we are going to see some changes made. Yeah, just fresh legs. I would imagine for the majority of these players... Uh, R9 usually gets substituted, and Ibrahimovic, finally, we're going to see introduced on the stream. I mean, we've not seen it whilst we've been commentating, uh, but I have seen him be introduced in a couple of games off stream or when Brandon Richard have been commentating. I mean, 
95 rated Ebra. We knew that flashback Ebra was going to be good. This is even better. I think if the worrying thing here for Fulfilzer is he's maybe got to prepare himself for a barrage of balls coming into the box because you have Christian oh, Ronaldo in the right attacking midfield spot. You have team of the season Zlatan Ibrahimovic on the left. Both five star skillers as well. It could be very difficult to. Uh, no, those headers, so we're going to have to see if he adjusts his tactics, maybe, or if it's going to be Ibra who just sets up a bad play. What a fair look at the man the the bodies in the way, but now a chance to whip this ball into the box. Takes it short. Messi in. It's a bad play. Fulfills a survives. Yeah, you don't want Mbappe jumping for it. You want Cristiano Ronaldo. You want Ibrahimovic. That's why corners are going to be so deadly and so scary. <laughs> But it's for Filza in possession, and it's Tom now who has to switch off. Oh, what a ball that is! And Messi's gonna beat him! Oh, no. eh? It's offside oh, anyway, but he doesn't beat the offside flag. Yes, yeah, close oh. side It was a swing and a miss. <clears throat> Thankfully, it was offside overs. That could have been very embarrassing for all parties involved. Final few minutes for Tom, and you know what's gonna happen here. It's gonna be a simple play around the pitch. Try and eat away at the time. Get that final attack. Oh, let's get nervous in these moments, Dan. All, all he has to do is make one bad pass here. CR9 trying to chase that space down, and even when you're trying to set up this final attack, you really are playing with fire. You have to keep your focus. The fourth official has indicated there will be a Modric then. Two minutes. And this will be the chance to step forward now for Tom. Last real opportunity of the game, but Luka Modric steps in. Quite a diminutive figure on the pitch, however, he had enough stretch about in there to win that ball back, and now we see Messi trying to be released, but I think that will be. The end of the action here at the end of the first leg. 2 2. And as we said um, numerous times today, then, nothing to split the two players at the end of the first leg. I would say 2 2 is a, a fair representation of how both players have approached it. They've both been more than happy to attack, they've both been more than happy to hold the ball when they need to, recycling the play at the right times. Yes, Tom will feel slightly less <laughs> <aggrieved laughs> than the second goal was conceded. It was time to break. We should focus on that because he hasn't done anything wrong. He's not made an error. That was Fulfills' error, and he is very fortunate to get a goal. But then, of course, Tom did hit back from the restart. A decent little bit of play from R9 to time it and put it in the back of the net. And I'd say a draw is fair. And yeah. now we're going to get to the second leg, and it's who can actually build from that performance in the first. Yeah, I think it's set up nicely, as we always say, for the second leg now, because one of the players is going to have to make a decision at some point, which is, I need to chase the game, or I'm going to take the game to my opponent. I'm going to try and be the first player to get that goal on the board. But I want to break down that little play from R9 as well, because we talk about the drag back so much, and what a basic skill move it is. But you can see why it is so effective in that situation. If you can time it just as a defender lunges in, it doesn't matter if it's player of the year, Van Dijk. It doesn't matter if it's team of the year, Sergio Ramos or Varane. You are always going to beat that man and give yourself that little bit of space. And I mean, with the highlights, we'll actually get a chance to see it in a minute as well. But it, it's even though it's a simple skill move for the drag back, the, compli the complication of using it is when to use it. And looking at the oncoming defenders, which way should I be pulling this drag back should I be using a half drag back to get past them that's where the best players separate themselves from just the top and the good players and uh, it was a uh, very important that Tom did pull it out because if he had gone into this first gone into the second leg 2-1 down after that goal your mentality is not going to be good and you can see all he's saying I'm there is lip reader, but red, he's, red, red. he's saying red there and I think the only thing that Maybe footwiz Tom might be a bit disappointed about is the fact that he did move his goalkeeper towards that near post. No excuse, but to answer back like that is an absolutely superb way to do it. And again, it's having created the chance, it's keeping an eye on the goalkeeper movement and finding the correct finish in that particular time and moment to find the goal. And he, he did it superbly well. Uh, I think what made me laugh more was that Filza complained about Tom's goal after scoring a time red. Calm down for Filza. You got what you deserved. You got your comeuppance. Uh, but 2 2, second leg. I'm thinking that Tom has looked very good going forward. However, for Filza's counter attack is what looks terrifying to me. And if Tom doesn't keep switched on at the back, for Filza is going to take advantage of that. Yeah, I think it's going to be about chance, uh, you know, man making sure you finish your chances as well. Because it wasn't a game of a huge amount of chances. We have to say that. It was a game, a kind of a, a patient game between both players building up slowly and, you know, looking for that prime opportunity. But both players, I was going to say, showing they were clinical in front of goal and we maybe have to put an asterisk next to that red time finish. A because big asterisk. Like big asterisk, but it did find the back of the net. So when those chances did come, they were converted. Now, uh, I mean, who's going to be the player to maybe change things up here, do you feel? Because we've seen you know, both players have different formations up the 
up their sleeves if they should fall behind? Or do you think it's going to be a very similar pace of play until that lead does get scored by one of these players? Well, it seemed like Tom was the first player to really make... Got to focus, Tom. Big focus. I mean, like, he, he brought on Ibrahimovic. The whole Ibra on one side, Ronaldo on the other. I mean, I, I think we should have been seeing more of that this tournament. We know how powerful back post headers are. And we know how impactful those crosses can be. So maybe that's something that Tom can resort to. He can say, look, either A, this game's not going the way I want it. Maybe he falls behind and he, he goes to that strategy instead. Or he says, actually, I'm going to take the initiative here. I can't break down for Phil's or I can't get through the central and I can't get the shots away. My drag backs aren't working anymore. Let's go to plan B. Let's put Ibra on the pitch. Let's get the sheer height and power that he offers on that left side. Yeah, it's interesting to see Alexandro dealing with a, a lot of headers at the back post as well for for Filza. A few times in that game, just with, you know, brute strength, to be honest. It wasn't the jumping statistic. It wasn't, you know, the heading accuracy statistic. It was more just the fact that he was a body in the way of the oncoming attacker. So the strength of Alexandra really paying off in that particular situation. But you've just seen a little glimpse of what the players here are fighting for a chance to lift that trophy, to get into that console final before trying to advance to that cross console final. Now we're going to see. The second leg of this match really kicking off now. And it is going to be for Filza, who has the ball from the kickoff. Let's see what he can do for this. You can see Tom was starting with 3-5-2, but I imagine that he can change that to either 4-2-3-1 or a 4-4-2 if he wants. He then shifts Hullet back to that left-back position, as we have seen in, uh, in that first leg. But it means that he has versatility with his formation, because the 3-5-2, we know how effective that can be as well. So I like the fact he's got options. He does have different strategies he can implement depending on how the game's going. Vieira striding forward here. Modric just around the corner to Neymar, and this is where things get dangerous. Mbappe, lovely little touch. He's inside the box. The heel to heel, accelerated fake shot, little half drag back there, an example of how you can use that. Neymar has space, tries to cut back onto his right, and Vieira drops him to the ground. The close dribbling, the agility of Team of the Year Neymar paying off for Fotwiz Tom here, and he has the opportunity from the spot to take the lead. Yeah, I'm sure Fulfills have probably thought he'd done enough with the tackle there. Just didn't quite work out. Hey, Mbappe Schmidt. steps up for Tom, straight Shut down the middle. Shut no up. problem whatsoever. And he does take the lead, and once again, he's phoning home. Finally, though, he takes the lead in the whole series. <laughs> he's always been going behind against Fulfills, or he's had to be coming back. But now he's got that goal, he's got that advantage. Can he build from this and start dialing a few more phone calls? He does look threatening in the box, Tom. He's twisting and turning with every player. For Filza, he did defend it well. He backed off at the right time. He lunged in at the right time, but it was just the skill moves and the dribbling from Tom, which was allowed to encourage the penalty for him. I thought was Tom takes the lead oh. and he wins the ball back here from the restart. Cannot be understated how important that is to do to just relieve that pressure. <laughs> Having just scored a goal and getting possession back, you can just control the game then. Scoring in these first few minutes down, it really is going to set him up here. As he wins the ball back once again, but it's just ping ponging back between the two players. I mean, winning the ball back from kickoff is just very important. It allows your players to regain their shape a little bit. As we know from the restart, sometimes they are a little bit out of position and they're not quite ready. And as almost, Van der Sar wasn't ready for that one as well, but Shut thankfully he was able to palm it wide. What a save that was from Ender with I Van der Sar. Now we're seeing him come and try and claim this cross, and that's what you want from your goalkeeper. Makes an absolutely superb save from the snapshot from Fafilza, and then comes and claims and completely calms down the situation. Ronaldo will win that header. And now he's going to have space as well, and there's space the other side as well, and Fafilza had to win that, and he did so well. Mbappe then tries to find the ball around the corner to the onrushing R9. The fills are keeping the pressure on here. Now in Neymar in midfield is just going to play this one wide. Sandro looking to good get forward and Ronaldo's doing so much defensive work at the moment for Tom. I think that is very important that your forwards, you switch on to them, you bring them back, you get them involved in the defense as well. Maybe not R9 as much because you do deplete his stamina very quickly, but the use of Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar, and Bappe, they can all track back. They can all get the job done. I mean, 
face Tass proved that when he showed us the 3-5-2 which switches to a 5-3-2 and how the likes of Mbappe and Pele they were joining the defense and what an addition they were to tracking back and making important challenges so it's good that all these players are starting to notice this and analyzing others gameplay and then implementing it into their own on taking his time almost fulfills an esque in his build-up play here Ronaldo brilliant accelerate fake shot away from Van Dijk there's the cricketer Tom's looking dangerous here into a bad play oh, oh what a save from the Gea penalty. Oh, penalty. another penalty Sandro's brought him down and it was such good skill moves from Tom as well it would have been a beautiful goal if that had gone in by the way that the passing move was phenomenal the low one of... has another oh. chance for the spot here to really create some daylight Straight down the middle yeah, again. Um, hey. No problem whatsoever. Hey, a little bit I'll tell you hey. what. Tom's phone bill is starting to stack up at the moment. And now he has that two goal cushion. And he's edging closer to that PS4 final. A PS4 final that I'm sure he's been thinking about for quite some time. His biggest performance, we have to say, would have been the E Nations qualifiers representing England. Unfortunately, after such a strong start for England, uh, they actually fell a little bit early in the Nations Cup. Not to Tom's fault either. I mean, Tom got the job done against one of the best in the world, Nicholas. It was actually Tex who arguably let them down there. So Tom has really come from strength to strength since the start of the season. It was that moment, wasn't it, for Tom in the season? That E-Nations, that qualification. I think it just reinstalled a little bit of belief into him. And again, he's won the ball here from the restart so so vital and that belief in yourself is incredibly important as well if you start to get down about things and you think oh i'm not going to qualify for playoffs i'm not going to make this lqe oh, i'm just going to get grouped anyway you start to get stuck in a little bit of a rut but then as soon as you get that one good performance you really start to believe you can actually make it well here's ronaldo again taking on sandro back inside to neymar is he gonna put this one into the box instead it will be a corner ball here and a chance to be whipped in. Modric in towards that front post. Ronaldo oh. tests De Gea. And De Gea was equal to it. Another corner here for Tom, though. This one taken short. Mixing it up a little bit. R9 towards the back post. And De Gea will come out as brutal it was getting forward from that fullback position. Looking to get himself on the score sheet. I like that Tom is switching things up. Trying to be unpredictable. Well, he might have to defend here because R9's inside the box and what a tackle that is from Van Dijk. I mean, really good defensive work there from Tom. He read the Croquetta perfectly. He almost encouraged the Croquetta with Van Dijk there. He stepped slightly to the right and said, look, take it. If you want to step left, I'm ready for it. And he managed to outplay for Filza ever so slightly there. So really good work from Tom. And again, Van Dijk should deal with this pretty comfortably. The Liverpool man who's had such a fantastic season. It's reflected in his... Ultimate team for I am as well. Do you think he'll stay a Liverpool man? That's an interesting question. I don't think he's going anywhere this season for I mean, sure, and I'm sure Liverpool fans will not want him to leave. Vincent Company just uh, retiring from Man City. Van Dyke would be a good replacement. I'll tell you that for free. Ooh, interesting decisions made from Dan, and we'll see what happens in the transfer window. But Neymar now turning inside for foot with Tom. R9 for Filza has to find a goal here. And Neymar's going to kind of win this ball. He actually does keep possession. Hullet now across to Mbappe. Back to Hullet. Tom's trying to keep the pressure on and just the swarm of players there from Tom. Enough to win the ball back. And now look at the space out wide over the top if he needs it. Mbappe galloping away. Vieira desperately trying to get back into position. And this is absolutely fine for Tom here as we approach half time. He's using those seconds up. Have you noticed how little the amount of L Tornado crosses we've seen in these games. And that's because both of these players are defending against it very well. Uh, pressing with both players, not just pressing with one. So it means you can cover both angles, which almost cancels out any sort of L Tornado or Balassi flick possibility because the animation just can't get through. It's only really interesting to see the meta still developing. The referee has indicated this late in the season for FIFA 19. Well, it will step in here for Fulfilza into stoppage time here at the end of the first half in our second leg. Is there going to be a chance here? Croquetta from Fulfilza. Van Dyke steps in. Hullet gives as good as he got there, but doesn't win the ball. And it will be the halftime whistle. And that was a perfect first half there for Tom. You can see it in the statistics as well. Not only the goals, but almost 60% possession as well. Two penalties and two penalties converted.
could have very easily still been nil nil if he if he didn't score those penalties and then suddenly he's going to be coming into this second half saying oh the chances i could have had i got brought down in the box whereas for phil's is going to be thinking now why am i giving away these penalties like how am i letting this happen how am i letting tom get into these dangerous areas and more importantly how am I going to get back into this game with only 45 minutes left needing two goals when Tom is defending so well? The way that Tom is shifting for Filz's attack, he's encouraging him to go down left, the left side when he wants him to. He's encouraging him to go down the right side when he wants to. His manipulation of Filz's attack has been wonderful to watch. He's almost trying to make Filz's decisions for him. He's almost Definitely. saying, I'm leaving this open. If you want to go there, that's fine. But I'm covering this. I'm giving myself, again, a higher percentage chance of either making a challenge or making the shot as difficult as possible. And there's an Elastico here from R9. Ronaldo gets around the outside. Maybe a chance Not to almost put this game to bed. Ronaldo across goal and Neymar will finish it off. Whoa. And I think that might be for Filza. Finished off the goal. One to get fixed the final. Me. And I think that's to tell all of his fans that I'm going to the final. He could probably hang up the phone at this point, Tom, now with a three-goal lead. It's going to be incredibly difficult for Fafilza to come back into it. But great ball work into the box with Cristiano Ronaldo. Reluctant to go for a little dink cross instead, just saying, well, I have a two-goal lead. I'm confident. Let's see how Fafilza's defense is. And Fafilza, unfortunately, just couldn't keep up with Cristiano Ronaldo. And now, it's a very simple task for Tom is just keep the chances limited for fulfills that and the way that he kept possession in that first half as well it's gonna be interesting to see if he can recreate that in the second half ronaldo is just gonna muscle his way past van dyke and that's not easy to do and van dyke just snaps him with a tackle of his own speaking of snapping in with tackles though arna is presented with a golden oh. chance and tom can't take it i mean that really was the game wrapped up if tom had found that one but from the corner can he find anything decent clearance from ramos very important Tom really bashing on this door now. Oh, and Mbappe on that left foot. Blimey. I think he caught us all off guard there with that shot. Outside of the post and out for... It has a level, eh? Foot with Tom. What a start this has been. To the second half here. And what a second leg it's been for him in its entirety, to be honest with you. Hullet now going to step forward for Fulfilzer. And you can just see Tom is defending so well. In my opinion, this might be the best defensive display we've seen from any player so far in the tournament. I think that's why his defensive record is as good it is as it is. I mean, the most goals that he's conceded so far in this tournament was against Fafilza early on in the group stages, in the Swiss round, where he yeah. lost 4-3. Neymar gets a second by the cherry. The croquetta again from Mbappe. And the Brazilian was waiting in the middle to happily convert that chance. You can see at the moment. The bottom right hand of your screen for Phil's are looking a little bit dejected and it might get even worse for him. And it does. He's going to be sick of that celebration right now. But for Fortwiz Tom fans, they are loving what they're seeing. As Tom steps one step closer to maybe even a cross console final facing his E Nations partner in Tex. Of course, New York City's Chris will have something to say about that. He's waiting in the PlayStation final. As Tom will jump up to around 27th in the PlayStation leaderboards with this victory. 450 Global Series ranking points confirmed if he wins this one as well. He lost to Fafilza in the first round of Swiss yesterday, 4-3. But he's learned from his mistakes and he's really shown up here. 6-2 on aggregate. Fafilza looking to answer back. R9 looking for a drag back. Ramos comes in to help his defensive partner. Maybe a chance from a corner here, but down by four. He needs to score now, and he has. There's one. And at this stage in a tournament, you can never say never. One back here for Fafilza. A long way to go, but at least he started that journey. Yeah, set pieces are always going to be a great way to try and start a comeback because Tom has not really allowed Fafilza to have many chances at all, but suddenly a set piece can make Tom have that little seed of doubt, of worry in his head. And just give Fafilza that tiny little lift. Well, to be fair to him, a huge lift that he needed in this game because it's really started to run away from him. He's the one who made the pauses for Filza. I'm sure he'll be going gung-ho now and throwing everything forward. But that naturally will allow Tom more chances. As long as Tom plays a very smart game here, he should be able to grind out the victory. But as you quite rightly mentioned, Mark, he 
can never count some of these players out. Even if there's only 15 minutes left, we have seen two, three goals scored in that amount of time. Tom has looked deadly from the restart, though, so we have to keep an eye on these next few moments to see if Fafilza can win the ball back, if he can stifle this early attack. And Tom sensibly here, deciding just to build from the back. Possession, the most important name of the game now. Mbappe, though, spacing behind. Half drag back, opens himself up again, and that one's just going to ricochet off of Mbappe, and it will be possession here to Fafilza from the goal kick. And he needs to make every little bit of possession count now at this point. He has to be thinking when he has the ball, I need to score from this attack. I cannot afford to allow this ball to get given away because as soon as Tom has possession, he's going to be eating away at that time. And here's CR7, here's Sabio. Maybe the better option was outside there to the overlapping Alexandro. Didn't take it, Modric will win the ball back though. And there's space here for Eusebio. Again, looks for that ball this time into Lionel Messi with a couple of fresh players on the pitch here. Four for Filzer as well, and you're seeing a pause queued in retaliation here by Footwiz Tom as well. Oh, R9 gets in the way though. It's going to be frustrating here for Filzer because that means there might be another chance for Tom to really put this game to bed. Modric, round the corner, the shot and the save. And Ramos says, leave that one to Haya. Because I'm going to go forward here and find Neymar who finds Messi. Unfortunately, Messi just can't get through the sheer strength and physicality of Virgil van Dijk. Uh, his player of the year foot item, the Premier League PFA, has really shown to be an incredible inclusion to a lot of these squads in these esports account tournaments. We did wonder, we, we, we always kind of talk about, well, what foot items are going to make their way in? Are we going to see more changes? We saw the icons replaced by team of the year foot items. And then of course the prime icon moments came into it and they replaced some of their team of the year foot items. The likes of Kante, he disappeared. He's not used anymore. And now Van Dijk, he's the newest addition and boy, has he made an impact. Here's Alexandra there. Maybe not a player that fulfills the wants in this position, but Ronaldo is. And all of a sudden you saw a little flicker, a little scratch of the back of the head there from foot with Tom. Because in the blink of an eye, Fafils has found his way back into this game. Now it's just two goals. It's that seed of doubt just slowly starting to blossom into a little trail, a little root. And you've got to make sure you get the weed whacker out and you stop any sort of growth. Because if you start to even consider the fact that you might throw this away, then that's when you do throw games away. I'm sure another goal here would calm Tom down ever so slightly. Oh, there's a mistake though, and Messi will win it back. Fulfills are closing the space down well, Lionel Messi. Space in the middle here for Modric, and Tom all of a sudden looks on the ropes here, but Modric steps in just at the right time, and this is the dangerous part for Fulfills now, the counter-attack. There's going to be so much space, and here is Ronaldo trying to take advantage of it, burst past one. And then slows the play down. Smart stuff here from Footwiz Tom. Something that Fulfills is trying to do as well, which is also very intelligent, is he's trying to encourage the attack from Tom. He's almost pushing his defenders to the outside position to give Tom room to cut inside to say, hey, look, look, you have space. You can attack goal. But Tom's not even playing for it. He's just saying, no, I'm going to ball roll away from all of this. I know your games. I know you want me to attack. I'm not, I'm not having any of it. Six minutes left on the clock then, two goal advantage here for Tom, and the longer that he keeps this ball, the less likely the comeback is to happen. But here is a counter-attack opportunity now for Fafilza. Great ball to Modric, and oh, look at this! Lionel Messi's away! Gets the strike away as well, but he was on his weaker right side. And even with that green arrow lighting up like a beacon, he couldn't find the target. And that should give Tom now the space and the time to just close this game out. If that had gone in, that would have been a very interesting last few minutes. But instead, Tom should have the ability to close out this game. And what a performance it has been from Footwiz Tom Mark. A very impressive one, a very deserved PlayStation finalist. And I'm extremely excited to see how he will get on against NYC Chris. Just a few moments left for this game to come to its natural conclusion then. And maybe there's time for a little bit of icing on the cake across the box. And Lionel Messi decides to disappoint everyone here.
right-footed Messi. Apparently not what you want. Always got to get him on your left. I feel for both players, to be honest, because you know, he's still got a four-star weak foot. He's got incredible statistics as well, shooting-wise. And he's just not finding the target here. He hasn't got his shooting boots on. And now we're into stoppage time. Just a few moments left here for the game to be ended. Referee, blow that whistle. Let us know that Tom is going to the final. And there it is. Tom Lee's foot with Tom. We'll make it through to your PlayStation 4 final. 450 Global Series ranking points. Climbs his way up around 23 spots in the leaderboard. Absolutely massive for his tournament. But we still have to talk about Fulfilza. Came into this tournament 16th. He jumps up to around 13th, maybe even 12th, with the 315 points that he's already secured as well. Two players I'm sure we're going to see performing well at playoffs. And maybe, just maybe, we might see both of them at the E-World Cup as well. Because the form of these players coming towards the end of the season has been impressive. I was going to say, I mean, that's what they're playing for right now. And that's what you know, Footwiz Tom still has a chance of getting his hands on as we draw towards the end of the tournament here. But we really are starting to create that little pool of dangerous form players as we get towards.